okay you have a model and you have ju just gone to the market and sell it then people will ask that how much you create your uh, model is so what do you tell so for that you have to find the accuracy and uh, for the accuracy function what you will tell that uh, okay this much accurate my model is so how you will be measuring the accuracy in the classification so we are just going to use the cross validation we will be seeing that if it will work or not okay and after that we will be seeing that if it will not work then what will work okay so let's see and uh, welcome to the lecture of uh, three uh, classification and we'll be actually measuring the accuracy by the cross validation so this is the thing guys and measuring the accuracy using the cross validation and all and uh, you can see here uh, like uh, we will be using the cross validation and we have the function we have actually the function of uh, uh, cross val score and this is the book actually uh, you can see your thumbnail also so we are following this book and if you want this book then message me on the uh, linkedin okay fine so uh, let's uh, go and code this thing okay so you can see your performance measure uh, so we have a code we have the code actually from sklearn model dot selection import the cross val score okay so uh, first thing what we'll do we'll just uh, do some google search okay let's some google search so here you can see um you can see here uh, like uh, this is the function of scikit learn and is quite quite important you can see here like estimator is there x y is there then groups name and all other things are there so uh, you can read it more by just uh, having a google search so first i will i will tell you that what is the cross validation then uh, then you can uh, you will be understanding that what this thing is okay so this is the thing guys so you have a data okay you have a whole data and uh, you want to see that how much your model performance is so what uh, what this method says that uh, like we just divide into the three parts okay three or more parts as you want and that split one is is now broken into two parts training set test set and then we are training so what we are doing we are doing some pieces of the data like this is the one piece this is the one piece and we are seeing that how much the model is actually uh, performing on this uh, this is split and this is split something like that and this gives us more accurate prediction that how much model is like uh, how much improved model is okay so this is the thing about the cross validation that uh, you are just breaking down into uh, two or three um, splits or more than that maybe so let's uh, do it by the co uh, coding okay uh, or you can see uh, you can, you know you you can also uh, put it in the chat gpt and see that what is the cross validation and all and you can see here why use cross validation just because the avoid overfitting and better performance estimation yes guys that is the important because you know you are splitting the data then you are uh, just getting it into the training and testing so it is minutely seen that on which data it is actually performing well so that will give us the overall performance and then robust model evolution this is the same thing almost okay so uh, let's do some coding about it so you can see here sklearn model dot selection import cross val score and then what we are doing, going to do from in the cross val score we are just putting our sgd classifier you know uh, we uh, in the previous videos we have uh, uh, actually uh, trained the sgd classifier a stochastic uh, gradient descent classifier and we are just going to see that how much accurate it is so you can see here it is 87% and we have, what we have done this is the model this is the data x train this is the y train data and this is cv3 it means that we we have we are going to have the three folds or three splits okay and a scoring is accuracy okay so it is 87% guys and it is 87% accurate and that is quite good okay now um, so this is this is quite good now 
uh, like uh, it is it is scoring very much but in book you can see here it is scoring 95 96 96 okay but uh, is there any uh, is there any issue so let's take some dummy classifier okay so if you you see now uh, a dummy classifier we have uh, we have made it okay let's see this thing let's uh, uh, look at the dummy classifier that classifies every single image in the frequent classes okay so which in case negative class non five okay so what it will do uh, we have made our dummy classifier and we are just going to fit the our data uh, like uh, it is five and it is non five then it will predict and it will have the prediction of 91 percent yes guys so you can see here it is giving more more um, more accuracy than the actual classifier so how this is happening actually and what it is telling us so that is important to understand so let's understand what it is telling so like you know a dummy classifier is actually giving us 90 percent accuracy this simply because only 10 percent of the images are five is okay uh, in the previous videos you can see and if you are following that then we, uh, you have seen that we were actually classifying the 5s images and that were only 10 percent so if you are always guess that image is not a 5 then you are always right about the 90 percent of the time because you can see the data is 0 0 to 10 0 to uh, 9 i think okay so is there five number is there and that is one the 10 percent approx so that is the thing guys and that this demonstrate that why accuracy is not generally preferred a performance measure for the classifier and especially when you are dealing with skew data sets okay so this is the thing guys like uh, this is the thing that we don't use uh, we don't use the uh, performance measure uh, accuracy as a classification so what we use we actually use the confusion matrix just remember thing remember it guys because in the many classification in the classification of pictures and many data sets especially uh, you have to use the confusion matrix so we will be seeing that what is the confusion matrix i'm just going to do a google search for you guys you can also uh, do it okay confusion matrix and let's uh, have a view that how what is the confusion matrix so i am just going to open it and this is the confusion matrix guys we will be seeing it in a very detailed manner so i hope you have uh, understand that why it is not used because you can see your dummy classifier is there and that can also predict you know so that is the thing uh, about about it i hope you got this thing and if you got this thing then please hit the like button subscribe this channel meet on the next video till then keep exploring keep learning